Hi and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to integrate with the John Hopkins Institute for Coronavirus Tracking. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Unfortunately, a coronavirus started spreading around January 2020 and unfortunately a lot more countries have been affected with this virus lately. While I really do not think that you should panic about it, but I also believe that you should be aware of it. And awareness is one thing that Home Assistant has always helped us a lot, be it our internal home awareness of the stuff that's going on, but also awareness in our city, region or country. In between versions, which is normally not something that Home Assistant does, we have seen a new integration. This is coronavirus or COVID-19 virus tracking. Data is pulled from the John Hopkins University database and it tracks total confirmed numbers, total recovered numbers and total deaths for specific country. Today we are going to integrate it in Home Assistant. Integration is really pretty straightforward. There is not much else you can do except select your country or worldwide. But of course, as with anything with Home Assistant, you cannot just play with it, you can also do some automations or informations. So let's get cracking. First thing you have to do, if you still haven't done it so, you have to check your version, because this integration has been released as 106 integration, but you need version 0.106.3 at least for this integration to work or exist. And integration is pretty straightforward. What you have to do, you have to go to configuration, integrations, click the plus sign, and here just select coronavirus. You can pick your country. I will pick a couple of countries just for the testing purposes. First, I'll pick worldwide. The next integration I will pick is Croatia. And if you try to add your country, and your country is not in this list, it means that there hasn't been recorded infection by the coronavirus and you will not be able to add your country. Okay, let's close this. Okay, so let's see what we can do with the information we received and what kind of information we get from this uh, integration sensor. Let's add it, for example, to climate, no, to weather. Let's hit the plus sign and let's use glance. First, I will set it up for Croatia. Confirmed. Current. That's recovered. Save. And next, I can also add information world, for the worldwide. So let's select glance, worldwide. Worldwide number of confirmed cases, worldwide current, worldwide deaths, and worldwide recovered save. As with everything else, now we have data here. If there are any changes, you will see them in the graph here. Now that we have data inside Home Assistant, you can of course do automations and for example, get notification when number of recovered people changes or when number of confirmed coronavirus cases uh, in a country or worldwide changes. In order to do that, let's go to configuration. 
automations. Let's create a new one. Let's select state. And let's, for example, add here trigger for the number of infected in Croatia. And let's add event, oh, sorry, oh. let's add service call notify bearded bot with the message new infection in Croatia. Okay, let's save this. And let's also add another integration. This one, let's call it world another person recovered. Once again, we'll be using state, we will be using worldwide recovered. And we will trigger service notify bot message someone recovered from COVID-19. Okay, let's save this. If my understanding of how automations work is correct. Uh, next time the worldwide sensor for recovered changes, we will get notification inside our telegram from bearded bot. Also, I forgot to put title here, new infection in Croatia. Okay, let's save this also. Also, when the uh, number of people infected in Croatia changes, we will also receive notification. Uh, we can test this now. Let me open Telegram. And let's trigger by hand. First will be new infection in Croatia. Let's execute. And we received notification new infection in Croatia. And next, let's trigger another person recovered, execute, and also we received notification inside Telegram. Well, hopefully I didn't mess something up with the automations, but you get the general idea of how it should work. As I said previously, while still you do not have to panic about this, it's always good to know what's going on in your area or your city. So this integration, if this is of course your cup of tea, will help you track what's going on in your country. This is it for this short Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Thinker. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have idea on future videos or have some kind of comment or a suggestion, you can of course reach me on my Discord server and you can also leave the message down in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates and I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye, be safe and have fun.